Hello and welcome to another episode of The Flying Reporter. I've just popped into Earl's Cone to fill up with fuel because Bertie and I are heading up to Sherbin in Elmet. We're going to go to Leeds and we're going to the set of the British soap opera Emmerdale. My son Bertie and husband James are big fans of Emmerdale. I could take it or leave it to be honest, but every evening at 7.30 they're both glued to ITV1. Clear prop! So as a treat for my son, we're zipping up to North Yorkshire. The set of Emmerdale is just half an hour's drive from Sherburn in Elmet. Taking off from with 2 4 golf This flight was conducted in August 2023, and apart from the chance of a light shower and it being a little bit breezy, I'm not expecting any issues today. Airspeed's increasing, temps and pet pressures are good. Stacey uh, Cole and Earl's Cone has uh, quite a squeak on that, no call sign. Talking to Victor, leaving the ATZ to the north, climbing through altitude 2,300 feet, changing to Lake and Heath, radar 128 decimal 9. Golf India Victor, Roger to Lake and Heath, have a nice time, see you soon. My routing today takes me north towards the Mildon Hall Military ATZ, northwest past Coningsby, Skegness, a turning point at Humberside Direct Sherburn in Elmet. Flight time will be just over an hour. You right back there? Yeah. Was it fun uh, meeting the gang at uh, Els Cone? Yeah. Throwing dog treats to Zach? Yeah. So you better tell my viewers why you want to go to see Emmerdale. Uh, because I do. You watch it with Daddy, don't you? Yeah. We're going to be there tomorrow, was I? Yeah. Who's your favourite character? I don't have one. No? Bertie's on his summer holidays. Uh, he went water... Did you did water sports yesterday. Kayaking, yeah. paddle boarding. Anything else? Canoeing? Yeah, that's all. Enjoyed it, didn't you? Yeah. Country Air Force 6521, climbing flight level 250. Got a bit sunburned there. Yeah. Decimal 62. Lake and Heath radar, Golf Bravo, Mike India, Victor, request traffic service. Golf Bravo, Mike uh, India, Victor, Lake and Heath approach, squawk 0452, local Q&H is 1016. Squawk 0452, Q&H 1016, Golf India, Victor. Golf India Victor, your rear contact one six miles south of uh, Lake Heath under basic service, mass penetration approved. Roger, under a basic service, can we uh, get a traffic service briefly for an IFR climb, please, Golf India Victor? Golf India Victor, uh, Roger that, traffic service. Traffic service, Golf India Victor. Golf India Victor, what uh, altitude are you looking to climb to? Can I attempt uh, flight level six? Six zero, Golf India Victor. Golf India Victor, copy. So, I've got a lot of fast chat activity going on at Lake and Heath today. Um, I w was hoping to go above the mats. They've just given me a mats transit anyway, so that's good. But I'm going to go up to about flight level six zero and uh, see if that uh, gives us a slightly smoother flight. And uh, hopefully we'll be somewhat VMC on top when we get up there. On the instruments now. Passing flight level, passing four and a half thousand feet. There we go. Copy Victor, continuing climb, flight level eight zero. Golf India Victor, copy, maintain flight level eight zero. Roger, maintain flight level 80, Golf India Victor. All right, back there, I just did that, I didn't tell you what I was doing. What, what were you doing? Going through the clouds, was that all right? Yeah, that's fine. You're, you're all right with that, it's his daddy who doesn't like it. Yeah. The air's a bit smoother up here. I never know if it's a good idea to come up high, you know. To be honest, there wasn't much in the... Uh, I think you had to be up about this high to make to get advantage of the conditions. Being at sort of 4,000 didn't really do much, but I think up here, closer to 10,000 feet, the uh, the performance, the true airspeed, was, was, there was a benefit of being up here. Just notice my cylinder head temperatures are quite high, uh, sort of near the 400 mark, so I've just re-enriched the mixture. And uh, oil temperature and pressure is good. 
Just see how that settles down. We should be getting quite a lot of good cooling now through the cylinders. But yeah, I never quite know coming up here is good, a good idea. You know, you're never too sure if you're going to have to struggle to get back down again. I don't really want to have to do an instrument approach to come back down. But the weather's all good the other end, so I can't see it being a problem, quite frankly. Sometimes you start those IFR climbs and you have a look at the clouds around and you think, oh, I'm going to pop out of those, and then you don't. You see, we had to continue going up to eight to come out of them. We were just out of them at about six. It's always great going on an adventure with Bertie. James couldn't join us this time, but the three of us had a fab time the other week at the Dark Master Escape Rooms, not far from us, between Tunbridge Wells and Crowborough. Dark Master has an escape room called One Wing Airlines, a budget airline with a realistic aeroplane cabin and props from an actual airline. You have to find the clues around the cabin and solve the puzzles to make it back to land in one piece. The cabin features some really good special effects but i won't say any more about that as i don't want to spoil it for you as an aviator i really enjoyed the experience as a family we really love escape rooms even if we're not very good at them if you're looking for some aviation inspired escapism then why not book on to one wing airlines at dark master escape rooms a link to their website is on the screen and in the video description there is something every child does when they go on a journey with their parents, and it's the most infuriating thing. Helmsworth? And we've just taken off, darling. That's a bit annoying. Oh, I don't know how long it's going to be. Half an hour until landing. <laughs> every time. And beside radar, Gold Bravo Mike, India Victor, request a traffic service. Gold Bravo Mike, India Victor, Humpside Radar, Squawk 4271, party message. Squawk 4271, Golf Bravo, Mike, India Victor, PA28 Arrow, Earls Cone to Sherburn in Elmet, two miles east of Coningsby, uh, flight level 80, IFR, uh, routing overhead Humberside, request a traffic service. Go, India Victor, identify traffic service. Traffic service, Golf India Victor. Thank God, thank you, Victor. You do have traffic, 12 o'clock, 1, 5 miles off the direction, flight level 100. I'll keep that safe. Roger, Golf, India Victor. Just coming up on the Humber side now, to the River Humber. This is one of those uh, fairly regular crossing points for me. Uh, when I'm coming up to Scotland on the east coast, I'll often come up this way. Golf, India Victor, request descent altitude 3,000 feet, say QNH. Golf, India Victor, descent altitude 3,000 feet, Humber side QNH 1015. QNH 1015, descending altitude 3,000 feet, Golf Hubert. Golf Hubert, you do have traffic 12 o'clock, 7 miles. Crossing left right ahead, currently indicating 1,600 feet below your clear level. Roger, Golf This has been a very enjoyable flight. Getting up there has been nice and smooth. Lovely weather to just sit up there in the sun. A nice easy descent. Uh, Cloud base is uh, not too low, so we can comfortably descend to a VFR level and uh, cancel IFR and make a visual approach. So I've just done a little uh, sum here. Uh, I knew I had 8,000 feet to lose. Uh, multiply that by three gives us 24, which is the top of descent. So I was descending, at a, started my descent about 26 miles, but 24 miles would have. Uh, been good and then looking at the ground speed 130 knots at the moment and that's going to require us to have 650 feet per minute descent rate to uh, be at 3,000 be at uh, surface level um, at uh, the aerodrome but we're obviously going to fly a circuit so we won't go all the way down just managing the engine on the way down uh, needing to bring back on the manifold pressure to uh, correct for the pressure altitude that we're at Got five to lose, so that's 15, and we are exactly 15 miles away, so this is working out perfectly for our descent. We're not quite VFR yet, because we've still got clouds uh, 500 feet above us, so once we get more than 1,000 feet from the cloud, we'll cancel IFR. Copy to Victor, cancel IFR at time 1334. Copy to Victor, copy to cancelling your IFR flight plan at minute 1334. 
Thank God, thank you, Vic. Uh, it will be a basic service below altitude 3,000 feet. Roger, and uh, in fact we can change now to Sherburn Radio 122.610. Thanks for your help. Good afternoon, Radar Service 78, Scott Conspicuity and Free Course Sherp, and have a nice weekend. Scott Conspicuity, good day, you too, Golf Indeed. Sherman Radio, Golf Bravo, Mike, India, Victor, 10 miles to the southeast, inbound, request aerodrome information. Aircraft calling Sherman Radio, standard overhead, join and when you two far left hand, QFE 1014. Two four left hand, QFE 1014, Golf India, Victor. About five minutes till we land. Okay. We've got to go over it, round, down, over it again, so it's going to be a bit of a circle. Just okay. to forewarn you, lots of turns. That's fine. You got used to it all now, haven't you? Yeah. We oh, came here before, didn't we, and you had beans on toast. Then you threw up in the plane on the way back. <laughs> Radio fuel radios, engine temperatures and pressures, direction indicator. Altimeter. Golf Indy Delta final. Golf India Victor entered the ATZ from the south, height 2,000 feet, making overhead join runway 24. Left hand sir. Golf India Victor final runway 24 to left. How was uh, Daz landing? Um, it was. It was fine. <laughs> Can't you show me a compliment? Um, who do you think I am? <laughs> You're a rotter. <sighs> right, we need to put the covers on. Yeah, we do. And then our taxi comes in about half an hour. Okay. Right, I better shut the engine down then. Yeah. My covers for India Victor, by the way, are from Vertigo covers. They're lightweight, modern, and quick to put on and take off. So perfect to take with us and protect the aeroplane when we're touring like this. So that was uh, actually quite an enjoyable flight up. It, it was a good decision to get above the clouds, much smoother air, plenty of cloud base below to descend and uh, get into Sherburn. And it's nice to be back at Sherburn. I was here only a couple of months ago uh, filming the new RMP approaches here. If you haven't seen that video, I'll pop a link in the description up here somewhere so you can have a look at that. Before we go, I'll share some highlights of our tour of the Emmerdale TV set. They didn't want us to take video, unfortunately, so it's mostly stills, I'm afraid. I've worked in TV for most of my working life, and so I wasn't overexcited about this, but it was fun, and the tour guide was very knowledgeable. Bertie enjoyed his day out, and now we watch the programme together on the TV and remember the day we were there ourselves in person. I hope you enjoyed our little trip from last summer. Watching it back has reminded me of the good weather we had, and I hope that we have some more trips like this soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Until the next episode, fly safely, folks. Bye for now.